Hi, welcome to TechRanch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. Practice project ideas, checkers game. Today we are going to present you a live demonstration of checkers game using Java FX graphical user interface API application development. Checkers game basically based on two players where we have one side and we are going to oppose the other side of color and here we are going to move these pieces forward and dismiss the other piece diagonally. So the features of this type of game application using Java FX, what are our requirements is it is going to be a one player game of Java FX application. It is going to have automated suggested moves for the player and announcement of winner, new game or resign option to quit option for a player in the middle of the game and board and pieces are already fixed. So you can actually change it while uh, in the source code but uh, you cannot resize it at the runtime. So that is going to be fixed. So as you can see here we are going to have a board. So when it comes to the rules how to play First, we need to pick one color, red or black. Then we are going to move those pieces straight. You can dismiss the other side of the piece diagonally. And once the dismissal is all done from one side of one color, the opposite color of the pieces are going to be announced as a winner. Automated suggested suggestions for the player to make it easy moves and once the red piece is reached to the other side of the piece that will be decided and renamed as a king so just like a chess when a, uh, any kind of uh, piece is uh, reached to the other side and uh, without dismissal then it will be renamed or repositioned with that power so that's why we call it as a king now when it comes to the implementation, as you can see, we need a board. In JavaFX, we use Paint for window creation. And uh, instead of uh, creating a board with different colors, as you can see the color, we need to have some buttons. And this frame basically is uh, a kind of a table. Okay, so these squares are basically a cell and uh, we are considering like a row and a column so every odd position and every even position for all the colors so based on that so we are using the logic of even and odd to uh, create and drawing this board checkers board now once this is done with the help of the if else or you can use a switch case here in this code we are going to use switch cases to draw the complete checkers board to instance uh, the first instance of the checkers board so the first instance will be like this like uh, you have the black pieces these uh, three rows and the red pieces at the bottom for the three rows so every odd position and every even position so as you can see only white spaces has these pieces white squares only have these pieces so that's why we are using odd and even position so that make it easy for us to design the entire board having an odd and even positions and logic implemented now since it is a kind of a table with a row and column what the logic we have used here in this code is moving from one position to another position to these pieces that is going to be possible with the help of from row variable static variable from column variable to row and to column variables so these variables help us to move the pieces and check for the dismissal or any kind of other uh, in rules to implement in that now there is another point to be noted once the piece is going to be dismissal when it is going to be a diagonal move we are not going to take it out. It is just going to be recolor that particular square. That's what the uh, logic we are going to use in this case. So that place we are going to use if and else. It will be more clear if you see the code and see the execution. 
Now let's take a look at the demonstration. So you can see this is going to be a board and here we have the pieces and these pieces and there are two options you have been given the new game or the resign. Resign is like a quit or a in the middle of the game if you want to quit and here is going to be have some label where we are going to have the announcement or messages for the player to instruct it. Now let's take a look at the demonstration. Okay, so this is my Eclipse IDE and here is my code. Checkers.java, this is my Java application. And here I have the main, main, I'm calling the launch. This is how we work with the JavaFX application. To understand JavaFX itself is a big API and we are going to come up with this course in detail with every small thing. So you can stay tuned and learn more about in detail to work with the JavaFX application development. Now here we are going to create a board and uh, checkers board is a, another nested class, one of the nested class. And we're going to create the button for uh, the board designing in the label for the message. And we're going to have the start method and we're going to override this method with uh, all kind of required steps we need to perform. And uh, once the start method is overridden, the next step we need to create the classes and uh, those classes has to have some implementation like uh, from row on from column position of piece to be moved. So movement of these pieces are going to be happen with the help of these classes and these classes will have some kind of implementation and uh, you can see we are using the super keyword and I'm going to cover up the super keyword and this keyword uh, coming up in my Java core Java course and uh, do resign and the game over do click square and all these methods are going to use to implement and perform those rules in the game. Now let's take a look at the execution. So since it has a main method and uh, this is my execution of my checkers game application. So I have put the resizable as a false so I cannot resize it. So let's take a look at the execution. So this is black and this is red. By default the player, the, it is since it is a one player application, so by default you have been given the red color. And when it says the blue square, that means this is highlighted and this is the current move. This player has to move the current step. Now the green squares mentions that you need to take the step or you can, these are the automated suggestions move for the player. So you can move through the left or right. It is up to you. So I made it this. Now this is for the black move. And so you can move or any of these pieces. So that's what the automated suggestions for the moves. So suppose I made it this one and now it is the red step. So I'll make it this one. So this is what we can have. It's, it's going to move. So now if you see this diagonal, this can, the black piece can dismiss the red and move to this green square. So if I click on this, it is dismissed. So red is losing game. To make it red win, you need to dismiss the red one. Now here, if I, now it's a black piece uh, turn and uh, it has to move either left or right. So suppose I made it this one. Now red turn. And it is going to move. You need to click on the square. And the square is basically the cell which was moved from, from row to from column. From row to two column. So this is on a red, black step, black's turn. So you can move this one or this one. So it will be red dismissal now. So if I, I mean... So I can just simply dismiss the red and you can mention as a, it is a one step or this application is basically a one player application. 
Oh, last time I played it was a red winner. <laughs> this time it is black winner. So this is a fun game and we used to play a lot when in our childhood. Now I was not good in these games. Nobody is going to win. <laughs> this is going to be very close. And any guesses if it is going to be red or black? No idea. If I put this black here, then red will dismiss the black one easily. And I'm not sure I'm in red side or black side. But I'm just playing randomly. <laughs> okay. So let's first, uh, okay. Now, if you see this red, if red is goes to this position, that means it is renamed and reposition here. So this will be converted into the king piece. The K is basically is for king and the piece has the power of that particular piece. So it's nothing like it has a special or superpower. It's just that it is renamed that. And uh, okay, now it's black's turn basically, that's why red is superpower. <laughs> so, red is going to win for sure, there's no way. No use. Now this will dismiss the king. The king piece also can be dismissed now. Oh, it is again renamed as a king since it is in a that position. It cannot go back. It can always move forward. Okay. The king is chasing this piece. So you will not be able to all uh, done until the, all the pieces are dismissed. Otherwise, you can put the resign, resign. Once I put the resign, the red resigns, black wins. So in this position, uh, you resign at the right turn, red piece turn. So that's where red resign. That's He's not going to take any turn and black wins. Although the red was winning. <laughs> okay, let's try one more time and see. So this is kind of a little interesting. So the blue square mentioned that all these pieces are active and anyone, any pieces you can use and move that piece. So even you can use this one. And it will always look after for those pieces which are ready for uh, in the next turn, which is going to be dismissed. So that will help you to take that turn. So you need to click on the other side of that square. So that will make the, actually it is not going to take it out or dismiss any specific piece. It's just going to rechange and the piece color of the piece. So here you can see it is going to move forward. It cannot move backward. So that condition also need to be included in your uh, logic. So when you have the check your moves and we create a logic for the movements of your pieces, you have to make sure you included all these conditions. So this is what included in this application. 
uh, all the conditions uh, for the moves I have no idea who's going to win today. Um, here, this is so sick. So there, if you see, it can go back and dismiss the red one, but the these pieces cannot move backward. So if you move this piece to here, it is turning to king please. Since it is reached to the other side of that same piece. I have two king pieces now. And since all the black pieces are there is no moves for the black piece all of them are dismissed so red wins there is a message and label you can see black has no moves red wins the game so this is what the live demonstration and execution of checkers game implemented using java fx graphical user interface api game application development so this was the checkers game using java fx for any kind of questions or queries and for source code or any assistance needed please contact TechCrunch and email to techcrunch2019 at gmail.com thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more upcoming interesting informative sessions and demonstrations let's make coding fun thank you